Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be memory planning and this is for the week of May 4th through the 10th, which was eventful because it was Cinco de Mayo, Teacher's Appreciation Week, and also Mother's Day. So we had a lot going on on this week and I'm going to be using this kit from MP Designs Co. Um, this is a really fun, floral, really bright kit and I just thought it'd be really perfect for the springtime. So on this page we have all the full boxes and and I love how she created this box into a heart using all the florals. And we have some appointment labels here at the bottom. This next page has all the functional boxes. So we have half boxes, more appointment labels, quarter boxes, and these really cute scallop labels. And then this page has the headers and some quarter boxes, as well as a set of um, glitter headers that match the color of the kit. And the last page, if I can get to it, Okay, the last page here has the washi strips, um, two long strips of glitter, and then the bottom washi, and I think these are just additional washi strips as well. So this kit is definitely really functional, comes with tons of boxes and things to use, so I don't foresee needing to pull in a whole lot of functional stuff from my collection, but we'll kind of have to see. Um, so without further ado, I want to go ahead and get started. And I think I forgot to mention, but this kit is called Awakening. I did purchase it quite a few months ago, so I'm not sure if it's still available, but I just think it's so perfect for this time of the year. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started um, and I'll explain everything as I go along. I'm super bummed because after I finished this spread, I just loved how it turned out. So I tried going to the shop's website to see if she had any new kits that I would like, and I could not find her shop anywhere on Instagram or Etsy. Um, so either she changed her shop name and I just didn't realize that, or she is no longer open. So if you guys know anything about what happened to MP Designs Co., please let me know. Otherwise, I'll just assume that she had to close her shop, um, which is a huge bummer because her kits were super cute. Um, so any Anyways, moving on to my spread, I finished placing down the bottom washi and I moved to the sidebar. I, of course, placed down the heart full box in the top corner because that one's definitely my favorite. I pulled in a glitter header and then I realized that the kit came with a ton of functional boxes, but nothing for the sidebar. So I found this habit tracker in my leftovers collection and I pulled that in to mark my workouts. I then placed down a quarter box from the kit and that heart check flag also came in my leftover stash. The um, gold foiled heart sticker is from Clever Gal Crafts. I use that to mark my happy moments. And then for my dinners at the bottom, um, I pulled in another quarter box and that full box checklist is from my leftover stash as well. Um, I did not pick up the sheet with the checklist and so all the ones I pull in this week are from my leftover stash. I then put a couple strips of washi at the very bottom just to close out that space. And then the utensils icon I used is from the Coffee Monsters Co. For Monday, I first started by placing down a glitter header, and I did have some coffee on Monday morning, so I used this really cute coffee cup sticker. I think that's from Peanut Butter Taco. I don't know if her shop's still open. And the Coffee Monday script sticker is in my writing, and that's from Planner Just For You. I then used a scallop label with this girl sticker from Sun Fun Stickers to mark that I had horrible allergies on Monday. I typically don't get allergies, so this was a really weird day, but I ended up having to take some medication because it was just completely unbearable. Underneath that, I wanted to mark a few meetings that I had that day, so I used a quarter box, and the laptop sticker I pulled in, I think, is from a shop that's no longer open, and then the um, text sticker is in my writing again, and that's also from Planner Just For You. For this week, I purposely pulled in a lot of icons that I don't typically use because um, this week's like colors are so bright and so fun, and I feel like I haven't used any bright colors in forever, so you'll see a lot of icons that I just haven't really been using recently, and honestly, it was so fun getting to do that because I like really miss these stickers without realizing it. Um, but anyways, I cut up a checklist to mark my three meetings, and then I put down a full box at the bottom of the day. In the remaining space, I pulled in an appointment label and a washi strip, and the noodle emoji sticker is from the Coffee Monsters Co. I also pulled in this gold foiled remember sticker from Rose Color Days, and I marked on that box that my boyfriend made some handmade noodles, and they were so delicious and so chewy. And then on the full box, there was a bit of empty space at the bottom, so I put down this happy eggy sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that I started a puzzle that day, and this was when I realized I really need to get some puzzle stickers because I don't have any and I've been doing a lot of puzzling in the last couple weeks, so I really need to get on that. Please let me know if you have any good recommendations. 
Moving on to Tuesday, I first started by placing down a Today header at the very top. Then I used a half box and pulled in this foiled Cinco de Mayo sticker from Chic Blossom Prints. And I also used this really cute cat taco sticker from Laven Forest because we did have tacos later that day to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. And then I had an IEP meeting that afternoon, so I used this IEP flag from Lily Grove Designs. I pulled in a full box and there was empty space in the middle so I used another IEP flag um, also from Lily Grove Designs to mark another meeting I had and I actually did a workout that evening so I pulled in a glitter header and a scallop label. Um, the shoe sticker is from Hazel Sticker. Like I said, we had tacos that day and they were delicious. Um, I also had some tequila as well and then um, the taco sticker is from Hazel Sticker. At the very bottom, I wanted to mark that we video chatted with my boyfriend's family, so I put that on an appointment label, and the little laptop icon I pulled in is from Nicole Hutch Designs, and the video chat sticker is from Planner Just For You. On Wednesday, I first placed down a to-do header at the very top, then I pulled in a full box, and in the empty space at the top, I used this Working Girl sticker from Happy Dia Stickers to mark that I had a morning meeting for work that day. I then used a glitter header with a quarter box to mark that I did a lot of report writing on Wednesday. The little cat on the laptop sticker is from Raspberry Designs. And then I moved to the bottom and started placing down some boxes so I knew how much space I had left to mark things I wanted. Um, on the appointment label, I used a lipstick sticker from Paper and Milk because I wanted to mark that I got ready for a video chat that night. And then let's see, the um, heart checklist was one from my leftover stash that I cut up into two hearts to mark some things that I did. And then the meal icon is a leftover from Nikki Plus 3. On the half box, I pulled in this gold foiled heart sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that my friends and I did a Zoom costume party again that night, and the theme for this week was 80s night. We've been doing costume parties every week with a different theme, and it's definitely been really fun and just something that we can all look forward to. So yeah, that was it for Wednesday, and oh, the brush lettering pen I'm using is from Pilot. Moving to Thursday, I first started by using a glitter header at the very top. This Working Girl sticker I pulled in is from Paper Shire. I don't know if she still has those because I got them quite a while ago, back when she was still under Toffee Bananas. And then underneath that, I used a scallop label with a sandwich sticker from Plans with Vanessa to mark that I had a sandwich for lunch. And then I had an afternoon meeting that I marked using an appointment label and a gold foiled laptop sticker from Magic Prince Co. I put down a full box in the middle of the day and then I used a half box underneath that to mark that we went to Trader Joe's that day and the grocery girl I think is from Happy Dia Stickers. At the end of the night I did a Gilmore Girls binge which is one of my favorite things to do so I pulled in this popcorn sticker and unfortunately I don't think that shop is open anymore. On Friday, I first placed down a full box at the very bottom and then I moved to the top and started the day by placing down a today header. I used an appointment label with a gold foiled coffee from Hazel Sticker to mark that I had a Dalgona coffee that morning. I've been loving the Dalgona coffees lately because it's something really easy that I can make from home. And then I decided to place down some boxes so again I could see how much space I had to include things I wanted. And I'm super sorry that part of this was out of frame. I didn't realize that I had it angled too far down. But anyways, I kind of ran out of space so I had to move the Dalgona coffee sticker up a little bit and I pulled in this envelope sticker. That's from the sticker jungle um, to mark that I had to run to the post office really quick on my break and then I had an IEP meeting again that day so I used another flag from Lily Grove Designs. On the quarter box I used a balloon sticker and I think that's from a shop called URU Co. Um, I used that to mark that I finished my puzzle that day and then on the half box I used this shoe sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. This was the day that many people including myself um, chose to run 2.23 miles in honor of Ahmad Arbery who unfortunately was killed while he was out running and it's a really really sad situation. I'm sure you guys probably heard about it because it was all over the news and social media but yeah I decided to also show my support and come complete the run that day. Um, then underneath that I pulled in a gold foiled bow from Nikki Plus 3 to mark that I FaceTimed my parents that evening and then later on in the night we did game night with some of our friends and that game night script sticker I think is from Bookish Planning. I haven't had a chance to pull those in so it was really fun getting to use it. It's super cute um, but yeah it was really fun. I had a great time and that's it for Friday. So moving to the weekend, I first placed down a couple washi strips at the top, then I found this weekend banner in my 
my leftover stash that actually worked perfectly with this kit, so I decided to pull it in. On Saturday, I initially used a Today header and a scallop label to mark that we made some pancakes that morning. We got this ube pancake mix at Trader Joe's when we went, and it was super good. I really, really liked it. And the pancake sticker is from Happy Daya Stickers. I do switch this up later on because I forgot I wanted to use a full box at the top of the day. Moving to the bottom really quick, I just placed down a movie marquee. That is one of the first stickers I ever bought when I started planning, and it's from a shop called Planning on Point, but I really don't know if she's open anymore because this was like over four years ago, which is so crazy to think that I have been planning for that long. Um, but anyways, like I said, I moved back to the top and added a full box instead. I then used another taco sticker from Hazel Sticker and I paired it with my hand letter date night sticker from Planner Just For You to mark that my boyfriend and I did a date night in our backyard. We went and grabbed some tacos from one of our favorite restaurants and just sat out in the yard and I just decided to call that date night because that's gonna be the closest thing that we'll have to it for a while. And then um, above that, I cut up a heart checklist into three hearts and used a glitter header to mark some things I did on Saturday during the day. Um, I did do a workout so I pulled in the shoe sticker from paper and milk. For Sunday I first started by placing down a glitter header at the very top then I used a half box with a Mother's Day script sticker from Chic Blossom Prints and also a gold foiled heart from Clever Gal Crafts. Underneath that, I used a coffee cup from Paper and Milk to mark that I had some coffee that morning. I made Dalgona coffee again. And then initially I used the scallop label to mark groceries, but I switched it out for another label instead. And the grocery run sticker I pulled in is from Love Shira, but unfortunately her shop is now closed. On the full box, I used this Noodle Eating Girl sticker, and I think that's from Whimsical Cat Studios. It's so cute. And I used that to mark that my boyfriend made some tonkotsu ramen that day, and um, it was really good. He actually just used some pork he randomly found um, in our freezer, and we have no idea how long it's been there, but it ended up being super delicious. And then at the end of the night, I started a new puzzle. I got this pizza puzzle, which was really fun to do, but always made me hungry every time I worked on it. And that pizza sticker I used is from Sweet Ava's Paper. I realized I forgot to write in the movie on Saturday, so I go back in and do that. We watched the movie Bad Moms, which was so funny, and so I decided to pull in this Laughing Girl sticker, which I think might be from Kina Prince or Happy Daya stickers. I'm not 100% sure because I found that in my leftover stash, um, but the last thing I do before moving to my sidebar is I decided to pull in some date covers. I have these ones from Rose Color Days, and I bought them so long ago, probably like two or three years ago, and I still have the ones in this color because I don't really use this hot pink color very often and I was so excited I got to use it for this spread and so yeah I put all of them down and then wrote in the dates at the top. Now I'm just moving back to my sidebar as I always do at the very end and I fill in all my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners for the week. Here are the stickers that are left over in this kit. I feel like I used a good amount, but I still had quite a bit left over. And I'm just doing a quick bib wiggle to show you guys the foiling. I didn't pull in a whole lot of foiling this week, and I did that on purpose. I feel like recently my spreads have been really loaded up with foil, and I just kind of wanted to take a step back and kind of tone it down for this spread. Um, I will say this is one of those spreads that really reminds me of my old planning style. I don't know what it is, but it just was like so simple and so natural to put together everything just flowed really nicely so I really really enjoyed this which was why I was trying to find this shop again to see what other kits she had but um, like I said I'm so sad that I couldn't find her shop if you guys know what happened to it please let me know and yeah that is going to be it for today I love how this turned out so much and I hope you guys enjoyed this too please let me know if you guys have any questions and I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe um, thank you so much for watching as usual and I will talk to you guys next time bye